So, uh, as part of the today's session, we will uh, first start with the SQL Server connection. Uh, the way we are connecting to any uh, RDBMS is absolutely same with all. So, we have SQL Server. Now, you know, SQL Server and OLEDB and ODBC are two different approach to connect to any RDBMS. OLEDB, can you just differentiate, like, you know, what you understand from OLEDB and ODBC? Yeah, when I'm trying to record, it's I mean I'm dropping off, so that's okay. I'll, I'll take notes, no problem. Okay, I made you organizer. You can also record. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the different type of uh, connection you have, as you know, like ODB, OA, ODBC, and OLEDB. There are two different approach to connect to any RDBMS database. So for ODBC, the full form of ODBC is Object Database Connection. And the second one is OLDB is object linking and embedding database. Okay, so basically, uh, when you are connecting to OLDB, the connection string itself is written in this document. Okay, connection string, all the input parameters, uh, the password, the server details, everything is stored here in this document. However, ODBC is system dependent, ODBC is more secure. So for ODBC, you have to connect. Uh, you have to create uh, object connection object in the ODBC driver we have in the system. Uh, do you have a prior idea on this? How to create ODBC drivers? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, so then we will start with the OLEDB. So to connect to SQL Server, I simply can. OLEDB is more secure, right? OLEDB, the connection string will be written on the document itself. However, uh, in ODBC, the connection string would not be written in the document. The entire connection details will be stored in the uh, object we will, that we create in the, uh, you know, ODBC driver, uh, driver. in the system. Okay. Right, right. Only we have to pass the password, uh, user ID and password while we are connecting to the ODBC object, and that's all will be written in the document, and that is again encrypted. So I can choose for SQL Server, I can choose uh, Microsoft OLDB provider for SQL Server. However, for other database like Oracle, uh, you know, DB2, uh, um, uh, you know, HP for any other database, whenever you're installing the database in your system, the database driver is a part of this package, which is installed, you know, the way, uh, the time we are installing the database. So when you're trying to connect to any database further, then that database uh, object, the, the provider, will be available in this list. So as I'm having SQL Server in my system, so I can choose here, and the data source uh, uh, file and uh, server name, uh, the path and server name. So I have a SQL Server here. I need to check it, because if your database is installed in your uh, default instance, you can simply put localhost. If it is uh, not, if it is in a, uh, you know, any other instance, then you have to give that instance name. So now coming to the instance, instance is a complete uh, different database repository. Multiple instances would have multiple uh, repositories. So I have this local host, I have three different uh, tables here uh, product transaction and master okay i will also choose this one so i can simply choose see this is for local host is only mean for this database which is installed in my local machine however if a sql server is installed in a remote machine local host to not work there you have to give the ip address of that server or host name So 
in case of local machine you can simply choose windows integrated security if it is a remote machine you can specify the username and password so i'm going to give this one also now test connection yeah connection succeeded so you load the databases here and you can see the list of the database which is available in my this thing database connection so this connection name i can define which i can easily find out from this connection uh, you know panel here so i will give my any name you can give this is user defined just to identify this connection object name so local sql server okay this is my local sql server is i also would uh, select data from this select database owner name however we may have multiple owners so these are also called the schema okay database schema default schema is dbo and dbo stands for database object so for dbo schema i have multiple database uh, multiple tables so i can straight away choose all these tables There's no more thing to, uh, no more, uh, this table is completely structured. So I can pull them here. So um, here you can see LIB connect to this. Uh, in classic click view, the connection string was completely written on this uh, document itself. Okay, document editor itself. However, right. here in this OLED, uh, in ClickSense, as and when we are creating a object, in that object itself, this connection string is written. But though it is there in the document, but it is not visible to the user who is, uh, you know, working on this code base. So it's simply connection string and connect name. The same way others, like uh, your uh, getting data from the wave or getting data from the um, binary load all these uh, connections will have a lib okay. library so click since okay. follow a approach called library in every uh, model when i'm going to create a dimension and mazes it's called my master library when i'm going to create a uh, any new connection it's again stored in a connection library now here this table like load uh, field names and again SQL in this what we can do is we can either uh, this particular load is called preceding load right you must be knowing about in uh, click, uh, click view so that means this uh, SQL statement is written as well as this uh, you know field fields are also written so this particular thing is called preceding load however SQL statement can be narrated by using simply select star from table name I don't because we are loading all the fields and all these uh, we are defining everything in the preceding load so we don't have to explain we don't have to uh, in, um, completely write the SQL statement of the SQL, uh, SQL statements here so this is CM customer master. This is again P product, and this is transaction. CM. Now this can be uh, because we are applying the you know qualify here. Um, I can unqualify the.
fields those are going to be joined like product code and customer code here in the customer table customer code is the primary key customer code and product code both the two primary keys here a transaction will be a fact Okay, just to see the data, data model viewer, we can see two schemas. When I mean, we can see two data marts. Okay, so this thing in a data warehousing uh, nomenclature we can call it as mart, right? So yeah, this is one data mart where we have three different tables. These are all relational. And this is one another data mart. There's absolutely absolutely no relations between these two data marts. So